Good morning, mademoiselles and messieurs, mystery man 64 at your service. And this is Yoshi Boy 32, bouncing into action. Welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Ooh, so hop on the pedestal there. Get to find out what. Is this like frozen liquid? What is this? Mm, could be ice. Ooh, oh, special events are thing. happening. Yeah, it is. Of course, it's magic. It's always magic. It's a summoning ritual. Straight out of Final Fantasy. Professor, what's going on? Oh, the, the, oh, the map. It was magic. It was magic all along. Oh, okay. Fires a beam. Pretty cool. Like one of those anime things with an orbital cannon. Oh, we restored color to the world. Bowser's castle, probably? I don't know. And Bowser's known for putting castles all over the place. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario's learned a special move. You can have you sweet treat. Yep. Professor, the map. What was with all the strange lights? Hmm. This looks like information related to the location of a crystal star. And that shining light. It looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Like it blessings and curses. It balances out, I guess. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's still Charles. I don't know. Hey, they love you using voice clips. Hmm. Aha, I see. You understand it, Professor? Of course I do, and I shall explain. The first thing to know is... This map is truly astounding. Somehow, this map contains radar-like functions. It's showing us the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Oh, we don't go full Kirby with all these world names. Petal, petal Metals? Petal to the metal? Is that the pun? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Roadport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travels efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. How did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario. This Princess Peach, this wouldn't be her, would it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Or facing so Peach. it is her. Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. Doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You look so stunned. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. It always ends with Princess Peach. Does you defeat Bowser and you rescue Peach afterwards? Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around the, about the Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best. I mean to give you both a proper farewell. Uh, you're still with us, buddy. Yeah. I, uh, this is kind of new. 
he usually just stays here, so uh Still see what happens if you look at the Ah Mario, there is something I forgot to mention. Firstly, not that light we saw shining on you. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. Special move? Yes, it, it, well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Sure thing. Excellent. In that case, let's give your special move a little test run. Toad watching us. Yeah, now you have an audience. First, take a close look at your star power Getting gauge. Getting famous. You have a gauge now. You'll see that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power. With me so far? Yeah. When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. This special move that will replenish your HP and FP. That sounds broken. It's only... It, Sweet Treat is the basic one. It's only seven for each. It can restore at most like either seven HP to Mario, like seven or eight FP and seven HP to the partner. So you're um, desperate and low and I'm out. It also, and the original, can cure poison. I don't know if it cures other status effects. Stores Mario in his car and HP and FP and cures poison. No, man, it just tells you right there. There you go. So repeatedly tilt left to shoot and you can really machine gun it. But be careful, there are also poison mushrooms that stun you. Usually, at most, there are two or three poison mushrooms in a sweet treat piece. So, yep, yeah, keep that in mind. Usually keep track of two or three poison mushrooms, and then you can kind of just spam the rest of the time. Oh, so the spam, avoid the green goop. Yep. Did you use one power dot? The star power gauge is now empty. Even if the gauge empties out, though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battles is so very important. Hey guys, what are you doing? If you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean. Mario, Goombella, try to attack me. This is where style issues come in. Missed the stylish there. Or maybe didn't let you. Not see that. You thrilled your audience, so they filled up some of your gauge. I got a special meter now. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Keep building that stuff. Also, the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch you fight. As you can see, that's reflected the number of members in the audience. Fifteen. Nice. That's all to perform like that and the audience will feel ripped off. Trust me. You have to execute your action commands. Don't get stage fright now. Oh, the thing. Yeah, you missed the action command. With me, the more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command to get star power. Hope you memorize this. Well, that's all I've got. Here ends my scintillating lecture on special moves. Fine work, Mario. The appeal is in your, uh, like, your flag options, along with defend. Mario and Scott, there, take this with you. I already have a hammer. You got a power smash badge. How oh, powerfully smash it oh. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. How much powerful we're talking? What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? I know that, but sure. Equipping and removing badges, press D-pad, open the menu. Or plus. Or plus. Oh, it is plus. Press ZR and open the badge menu. Quick badge require badge points. BP that one needs one BP. Press A to equip a badge. Or if you can have the majority. It's one BP and equip the badge. Press A again to remove the badge. Your BP will turn to normal. That's the whole explanation. 
Press plus, close menu. That's a weapon. Yep, Power smash and pretty lucky equipped. So we got all this fanciness. Yep, you can check out your party members and all the stuff. Catalog, the amount of crystal stars we got. Ooh. It's like chaos emeralds. I mean, it's always seven magical MacGuffins. We got rumble and brightness. Wow, those are the only settings. I was hoping there was like a volume slider. By the way, you need flower points or FB to use power smash move. FP is important, isn't it? In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get that? If my HP is zero, I die. Correct. Well, here's hoping you'll find that pipe to pedal medics. Yeah, go back to the save point. Oh, where'd it go? Well, who's this mysterious fellow? Hey, kid! You got a man telling what it means, pipe? Like the pipe of your whole heart? I see your brain of potential, kid! There's a heap of stuff you don't know about pipe! Science news, and it big! There's a whole list! Ready to hit me up if you got a question from now! Well, oh, boy! Someone call me the Bound Master! I don't stop him, but I could, but we're fighting! Hey, who? I got great life traveling, training! Uh, some things! If you see me around, give me all that! So, yeah, he can help you with some, uh, action commands if you're trying to get it out. Is that the hell about it, sir? Yeah. You can practice actions or, uh, secrets. Hey, what do you know? Oh, God! <laughs> So I can give you the quick explanation. So yeah, leveling up in star points, once you get 100, you can select either HP, FP, or BP. Depending on what enemies you fight, you can get different values of star points. HP is self-explanatory. HP is low, has some benefits. Flower points, pretty good. Equipping badges, attack moves, stat boosts, yeah. Guarding, super guarding, nice, good, great, etc. This is usually when moves have like multiple things star power you already know about stylish bingo we'll get into yeah you can use items status changes yep switching running it's you nowhere yep about partners types of audience members Ooh, that's a niche one so, yep enemies with spikes fly defense and damage enemies with items enemies with badges and enemies that drop items so oh, that's actually quite a bit we can down do this. So this is the practicing. Yeah, we can do. Wait, I'm looking to try that then. Ah, so this we can we can just have a quick refresher if we need to. Yep. Anything else, kid? So that's a nice little tutorial. Got to the time to figure out a few new secrets. Come back whenever. Let's do some the old savoru after that important thing. Yipper. Because I don't want to lose a lot of progress to whatever what we're about to do. I mean, you're still going forward. Alright, forward and here we go. Upperino. Up? I said Yepperino, but you could go up. Well, we've been up you. countless times. I mean, how up have you really been? Up? Have you been really looking around at your surroundings? Yes, I can stare at that there's a puddle here. Alright. Let's go. Are you gonna fight? What a I can take you. Bring it. What? You got a king. He can fight your way through here. Gonna make you eat a word, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Yep. Unique enemy. This old thing first. Yep, tattle. Gus. That's Gus! He's super annoying and tries to take pulls from everyone! Max HP is 20, attack is 3, and defense is 0. Oh, he's pretty tough. But I'm sure it's super good, but that point spear just hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watched people pass 365 days a year. Talk about working hard. So, why not try that new badge you got? And power smash him. Remember, when the hammer lands is usually when you can do style issues. This one has quite a few. Yeah, it'll take some getting used to. Nice. So you can't really attack with Goombella right now, so you should just uh, defend or appeal with Goombella. I went over to crowd. Yep. There's not a lot of crowd though. Yep, so you can just defend. Boost will be boost. Defense will be boosted by one.
Keep going. One more. Oh, and that might have been all for that one. Yeah, that one had quite a few. Danger! Yeah, you can also use an item if you need to. Or you can just keep defending. So, you don't need to press the guard button when a partner's already guarding. So if you select the fen, it's actually not a bad idea to attempt a super guard, since the character auto-blocks while defending. <laughs> There's the classic noise again. Yeah. <laughs> Supposed to be two, but it doesn't really matter too much. Ooh. Nice. See, that's what I mean. Bending. I might actually be able to beat this guy. There you go. You got the two there. All right, switch to Mario. Oh. Make Mario up front. But now he'll most likely attack Mario. What happens if Mario reaches zero? It's game over. Like Bubella. It doesn't matter. The partners can go out. So you're a little bit low. Try to appeal. Might as well try it. Ta da! Oof. Alright, try your special move. Looks like you could use it anyways. Bam, keep an eye on the yellow green cube. Oop. Nice! That was very good. And you got more FP. Uh, yeah, you can just appeal again or use an item. I think the ball is still out front. Gonna appeal. Yeah, and then you can switch Goombella back out front, keep defending and trying uh, the super guard timing. And, and now you have FP back. You can go and back to using your special. Should, should kill him. So, 20 star points. 22. Worth it. Yipper. Now you won't have to worry about tolls. Crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull us up. Ridiculous. Big violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? Huh. Last I checked, pacifism could solve something, but... What kind of game has that anyways? War's locked. Yep. East Rogue Corps. This is a turf. Ishnell's crew of Robos. These sides all run down. Can't even tell if these buildings are vacant or not. Get down here and you don't want to a compelling reason to be here. Wow, they're actually emoting and stuff. That's cool. <laughs> a trouble center is the only place on the east side the other town folk come to. <laughs> if the place is open when you're in the neighborhood, you should drop in. Which is actually pretty good advice. Locked. Trouble center, I'm out of the office. Please come again. So, uh, you want to know some fun tech that you can do in the original? You can jump on that lock. How do I do that? And so something that might have changed. You just got to try to jump on the lock. They might have changed it. I'm holding up and nothing is happening. Okay, I guess they changed it then. In the original, you can jump on the lock and then jump on the fence, which is something you're not supposed to do this early. This throws a lot of deal. Well, I guess it's time to go to the underground. This place? Yipper. <laughs> well, so, uh, check to the left. I want to say, behind the pillar, there should be, like, a star piece or something. Or to yeah. the left. Left? Yeah. All the way left. Yeah, all the way left. 
And look, a new friendo. Yeah. So check behind that pillar. I want to say there's a star piece behind there or something. Yeah. Well, you were right. No, 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 no. I know where quite a few of those are. My name is Dazzle, and I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. We're gonna make this person very happy. Oh, guy, if you have any star pieces, I'll trade you my badges for them. Yay! Which badge do you want to trade for? So this works, but poor. So attack FX, not the most useful in the world. Chill out. You can never get first struck by enemies. That's pretty lucky. We already have. Happy Heart is. That chance to three more HP each turn during battle. And if you want me being honest, the happy whatevers aren't too great. Just util items. Yeah. Uh, same with P. P is for the partner, so it only affects the partner. Slowly. Item Make it like the eyes will appear after battle. Yeah, you say that good old luck. Make more hearts appear. That might be situational. So peekaboo, make enemy HP visible. We're tattle. just going to be using tattle. Quick change is one of the most important badges. So this would be uh, one the of partner. Act, you're not the using swap partner. So you will get into that. Flower saver is okay. Decreases the FP Mario needs by one, and then power plus. It permanently increases your power by one. The same with power plus P. I wonder how ridiculous it can get, though. So, yeah, some pretty good badges. So, it's uh, best to start saving uh, star pieces. All right, so. I'm going towards the right now. Some good music. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Hey, a paper plane panel. We can actually interact with that now. Ta-da! Oh, man, with the guy. You can fight him if you want, or you can ignore him. <laughs> nice. Hey, Luigi's in the audience. Say, just normal hammer. It does more than enough damage. Luigi actually traveled to us, that's nice. Yeah, he sometimes appears in the audience. Oh, that's in the original? Yeah. That's in the original, too. Yeah. Money. And they're stored in FP. Boop. Nice. Cool. Uh -huh. mm. Any yeah. good-looking thing. Try tattling. Hmm. You are almost inviting us to do something, it does that, but what? Ew, did that thing move? It test by jumping on it, but it's kind of slanger, so we just use it here. Check. Or yeah, you could check it. Kind of soggy. Majorly gross. So what will you do? Will you jump, or will you hammer? Flaming gross. What do I do? Yeah, Does it matter? Pick. Do I get slimy boots or just hammer it? That is indeed the moral dilemma. <laughs> hey, what if it gets me the whack of bones from Super Paper Mario? I need to know! Ooh, I'll just let her. Me? Oh, it's a big blooper. Yeah, it is. Who just walks up and whacks someone's tootsies like that? Somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. I hate Mondays. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustached guy. He's in a world of hurt. He's got tentacles. I'll give him a tasty old tentacle trample. Hey, why? Well, Professor Frankly told us, right? That's why it changed our attack order. HP drops, so you can press Y put me in front. Can't play this fight. Uh, oh, yeah, you can tattle the boy. Oh, yeah, that's a blooper. That's a blooper. A really super humongous one. Dude, ew! It's all slimy. I totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G R O S S, gross! 
Max HP is 12, attack is 1, defense 0, attacks with 10 skills in ink. Once you do have to focus 10 skills, so fall down. And it's attack time! By the tentacles each have free HP. Now relax and make Now relax and make Sifu out of that slimy nasty blooper. Hmm, I wonder if you have any items that could help. Uh Fireflower. Attacks all enemies with fireballs that deal three damage. How convenient. Does it just do its thing? Nice. Get the attack. Yep. Nice. Now, why not? Yeah, you can jump or hammer. It doesn't really matter. This is what damage, right? Probably. It probably does three compared to the rest two. Boing. And he's almost done. Huh. The jump should finish him off. Yep. Pretty much anything will, even if you fail. Ooh! Whoa! A cinematic thing? That's new. And cool. Clear bonus! 50. Oh, yeah! What in the world? Oh, yeah! 97. Look at that sweet, sweet level up. Oh, Ooh. Okay, they move. Gotta be careful. Yep, they move. <laughs> Chapter 1. Castle and Dragon. Pedal metal. <laughs> well, here we are! The pedal metal! For folks at Crystal Star Hides! Woohoo! Here we go, Mario! The start of our adventure! This is a completely awesome! Yeah. Well, this is where we'll have to pause for now. As always, I'll see all of you in the next one. Until then.